Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so excited and looking forward to the moment when we get to celebrate with you in person. But until then, we didn't want to miss a special day. We believe in you, we're for you. Congratulations. My hope and prayer for you is that you go out and make a difference for the kingdom of Christ. Blessings to you. 2020 seniors, I wanted to say congratulations. And when we look back to this class, uh, we'll continue to be inspired by the way you all adapted and kept a positive attitude. If I could see you now, I would tell you just what a blessing you've been in my life. It has been such a privilege to be your instructor, and I hope I've imparted some helpful tools as you navigate your life with others and with the Lord. You are so precious to me, and I'll miss you. I wish you the best. I pray that you go out and impact the world for Christ with what you learned at Geneva. And remember, stay golden. When I think of you, I remember growth. The class of 2020 has grown more in four years than some people grow in an entire lifetime. Don't stop now. And my hope for you is that you take risks in this next um, phase of your life. Take risks to know people well, to join churches, to dive into your community, to ask good questions. Thank you for allowing us to serve you, and thank you to all of our student workers who helped us throughout the years. Congrats, guys. Seniors, if I could see you now, I would tell you we love you, we're proud of you, and we're praying for you. God bless you. Hello, class of 2020. I can't see you, but you can see me. You can see I've let my hair grow out a bit in quarantine. Haha. -ha. Dumb joke to remind you of all the chapels we shared together, which can be summed up this way. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make your path straight. Miss and love you. Hello seniors, congratulations. I hope that you can celebrate this day and look back at your time in Geneva with many fond memories. Until we meet again, God bless. I just wanted to say I hope you guys have a great graduation day at home and I hope that you can remember your time here fondly. You know that you're missed and you're loved and just remember to walk in the light. If you were here right now, I would remind you to return your library books. And I would also say congratulations. I would encourage you to serve. Serve others. Serve where you're planted. And in the words of Clarence McCartney, put all the Bible into it you can. I want you to know that when I think of you, I have hope. I really believe that God is going to use you to make the world a better place and to expand His kingdom. Blessings to you. My prayer for you is that you'll use what you've learned at Geneva to glorify God and serve others wherever God needs you. My hope is that we have inspired you to be all that God has called you to be. If I could be with you in person, I would tell you I'm proud of you. You did it, congratulations. My hope for each of you is you make a positive impact on your communities through faith, always putting Christ in the center of everything that you do. We love you, we miss you, and we wish you nothing but the best for your future. Congratulations. If I could see you now, I would tell you to let the Lord Jesus Christ add weight to your life and he will give you the grace to bear up under the burden. And that burden will be more meaningful than anything you can make yourself. If I could see you now, I would ask you to think about the word remember. Remembering the past work of God can lead to praise and hope for the future. When I remember the class of 2020, I'll remember their perseverance and dedication towards finishing their degree. I just wanted to let you know that my hope for you is that you will use your education and your time at Geneva to do amazing things to glorify God. And that we as staff and faculty continue to pray for you and we will continue to pray for you. I love you. And if I don't, at least I'm fond of you. And if that is untrue, happy trails, friends. But here's the truth. I will miss you. Be a difference maker. I know God has great plans for you, and it's been a privilege to be a part of your journey. I want you to know that I'm thinking about you and praying for you and looking forward to hearing from you about everything that you've accomplished in the future. If I could see you now, I would tell you, you are no longer seniors, you are graduates. The fact that you are at home and we're at home doesn't change that. Um, you've worked hard, you've earned this degree. We can't wait until we get to celebrate with you. We love you, kudos, and we'll see you on campus. 
to the class of 2020, my hope is that the challenges of the past few months will prepare you and strengthen you for this next chapter of your life. God bless you all. If I could see you now, I would tell you that you are resilient. We love you and may God bless every step that you take. Go out there and take on the world. Congratulations, Geneva College class of 2020. It is no mean accomplishment to wrap an undergraduate degree. I hope for you many good years ahead of growing, developing, never giving up the process of learning, and serving as you have, we hope, been served in recent years. Blessings on you. Hi seniors, my hope for you is that you are able to look back and see the Lord's faithfulness throughout your whole time here at Geneva. Hey seniors, this is Dr. Cole. We're gonna miss you at Geneva College, but my hope for you is that if you get the choice to sit it out and dance, I hope you dance. Hey Geneva class of 2020, I just wanted to be one of the first to welcome you into the Alumni Association. You're now part of a group of 25,000 other alumni, and I know just like them, you are going to do great things too. My hope is for you to take the world by storm, uh, understanding that uh, you are loved and you are important to transform the kingdom. Hey seniors, um, my hope for you is that you would be courageous in all of your future endeavors and that you'd remember that you are well loved by the Geneva community. Hey class of 2020, my hope for you is from Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, that you trust in the Lord with all of your heart and that you don't lean on your own understanding that you acknowledge Him in all of your ways, and He will make your path straight. And remember, as Christians, our identity is in Christ alone. Blessings. My hope for you, Geneva grads, is that you still find the space and time to be celebrated and recognize how big of an accomplishment this is, even if it can't be done in the conventional way during this season, that you still feel a deep sense of pride and joy for finishing um, your time at Geneva and finishing it well. If I could see you now, I would tell you thank you for allowing me to be part of your time here at Geneva. It's been my privilege. God bless you. Congratulations, Class of 2020 from Geneva College. Beth Carlson, your physician assistant, and Raylan, the campus therapy dog. We want to wish you all of the best in your future endeavors and congratulate you on this great accomplishment. Blessings. Hardy, congratulations to you on this day of your beginnings as you launch out as lovers of the real to uh, embrace your future. We've been uh, just so pleased to be part of what God is doing in your life. So God bless your day. Make yourselves proud, your family proud, and your Geneva family proud. And always know that no matter what, your Geneva family is always there for you if you need us. Congratulations. Hi class of 2020. If I could see you now, I would tell you thank you for letting us serve you in the dining hall for the past several years. And all of us in the dining services wish you the best in the years to come and God bless you. Congratulations class of 2020. My hope for you is that you'll keep people in your life who will call you out and challenge you. Those have been some of the most influential relationships of my life, so I encourage you to seek them out as well. Dear class of 2020, when I think of you, I'm moved by your deep sense of connection to and support for each other. You pick each other up when they're down and doing so brings joy to all around. If I could see you now, I would tell you how proud I am of you and all that you have accomplished. God has his hand on you. You have been designed to flourish in your life. The key is to recognize your talent and develop it to its fullest potential while living a faith-based life. Y'all have worked so hard to get to this day, overcoming unprecedented challenges. And I just want to say that I am incredibly proud of you. My hope for you is that you will take the things you've learned here at Geneva College and use them to God's glory and in service to your fellow citizens. My prayer is that you'll be faithful in whatever arena it is that God is calling you to next and that you will know his richest blessings through Jesus Christ as you move on to the next phase of your life. Uh, it has been such a gift to see all the work that the Lord has done in you um, from the time you guys came in as freshmen. 
um, to the confident, gracious leaders that you guys are today. So congratulations on graduating. You guys did it, um, and Donna is super proud too. My hope for you as you leave Geneva College and go into your teaching career is that you will remember from Corinthians, the body is not made up of one part, but of many. And that these words and the passage that they come from will impact your teaching um, throughout your life and throughout your teaching career. Hey, this is Dr. Rice. You know, some of you want to do big, amazing, wild things with your lives. And some of you want to do small things, and all of it is good. All of you remind me every day that the world may be broken, but hope is not crazy. When I think of you, I continue to remember what a blessing and an encouragement you were to me each day. Thank you for stopping by and visiting. You have brought me a lot of joy. I will miss you. God bless you. It was wonderful to have known you these last four years and I will miss you. Always remember to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, and always remember that the things that are seen are temporary, the things that are unseen are eternal. This is such a special day for you. You have made such a great impact on my life and the lives of so many others. If you were here right now, I would tell you how much I love you and how proud I am of you. Until we meet again, farewell, and go forth and be the Christian leaders that God has called you to be. My hope for you is that through all of life's ups and downs, that you will keep your eyes fixed on Jesus, the author and the perfecter of your life. I just want to let all you guys know that you're my heroes. I know our society is going to be better for what you guys have to offer. So good luck to all the seniors. Seniors, congrats! You did it! Woo woo! We're proud of you. We've loved having you on campus these last several years and really wish we could be on campus to celebrate this milestone in your lives together. But did want to say a big, big congrats and we're proud of you. You did it. Congratulations, class of 2020. My hope for you is that you live a life full of joy and wonder and lots of good books. As David said to Solomon before Solomon started work on the temple, only be strong and very courageous and do the work. And so my word for you is do the work that God is calling you to do with all your heart. Pro Christo at Patrick.